Hey everybody, today I'm doing my February favorites. I know I'm a little bit late, but um, if you've seen a couple of my last videos, um, you know I was on spring break. Um, so I just kind of relaxed while I was at home. I didn't do a whole lot. Um, I did bring my camera home, but I didn't film. Just, um, I don't know, I just wanted to relax and really enjoy my time. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into my favorites. I don't have a whole lot, um, and they... All of them aren't new so I feel kind of guilty do even doing this favorites video because it's nothing like super new and exciting but there goes my phone <laughs> but um, I'll go ahead and do it anyway so the first thing is this shimmering sands um, trio from covergirl um, that I had in my last month's favorites so I wore this I don't know if it'll focus I wore this I would say half of the month of February. So it's just something easy to wear, um, really neutral colors, so I really like that. And then the other thing that I wore in my eyes was this Maybelline color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze, which is like this. I'm sure you have seen these on other videos or even in store, and you can tell I've gotten <laughs> a lot of use out of mine this month. Um, it's just a nice bronze color, and I found that it works really well by itself. I didn't need to set it with a powder or anything, um, and it works really well with the fingers, so let's do a quick swatch. So this is what it looks like on the finger, and then it's just a nice bronzy shade. And I mean, you can layer it and um, make it darker than that, or not use as much, make it lighter, so... Um, it was just something that was like really easy to use every day if I just want to like swatch it on really quick and then put some eyeliner on. So I would say I wore that the other half of the month, um, except for finals week. I really didn't wear any makeup at all during finals week. So, um, and then oh, let me close that. Then of course is this um, Mac uh, Paint Pot and Morning Frost. This is also in my last month's favorites. It's just like a nice shimmery silvery taupe and I would wear this under my um, CoverGirl Shimmering Sands eyeshadow palette, whatever. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, my phone is still bothering me. Um, okay, so then next, this is something new. This is something I picked up. I picked it up in January, um, but I didn't want to like say anything about it because I hadn't tried it out too much, but I used it every single day the, um, the month of February. It is this Baby Cakes Baked Blush Palette by Laura Geller, and it has four baked blushes in it. And the names are on the back. Yeah, I still have the plastic thing in here. Um, and so you've got some colors, like, where am I at here? This one right here is actually excuse me actually matte and these three three are shimmery this is more um, pinky peachy coral and this is more bronze and a more deep color um, and it comes with an actual brush but I don't use that so my favorite color in the month of February was this one which is golden apricot um, so I wore that every single month I love it I think I'm gonna do a review on this palette sometime soon hopefully <laughs> um, and then this is something that I kind of rediscovered. Um, I was using my um, Erase Paste by Benefit for um, concealing uh, recently. And then I just saw this in my makeup drawer and I was like, well, you know, maybe I'll just use this again. It's the Garnier Skin Renew and it's a tinted like under eye treatment. So um, it looks like this. It's got a roller ball and you just kind of use it like that. That's actually quite a bit. And I just use it under my eyes, actually. And you just, you know, you can tap it in or, you know, spread it out. So, I don't know. I think it, it's, like, really light. And it was something that was easy for me to use this month, especially during finals week. So, I just kind of went back and kind of rediscovered something from my collection. And I don't know. I liked that. Um, and then the last three are lip products. Um, what I actually have on my lips right now is the NYX. Um, gloss in beige and I always just I just think it's so funny this is called beige when it's like a pink color um, and it's very neutral 
Um, something you can wear every day, which I wore several days. Let me see if I can get a clean swatch on here. So it comes with a Dofa applicator. And it looks, it looks darker on my hand, I would say, than on my lips. But it's just a nice um, pinky neutral shade that I think a lot of um, people can wear and it would look nice. And it's not too heavy, it is um, rather sheer, so that's nice. And then, of course, my Revlon Lip Butter and Creme Brulee. I love this. It is such an easy um, nude shade. Looks like this. I'm running out of places to swatch, and I think I've swatched that for you, so um, if not, I'm sure you've seen these. And then usually on top of this, I pair my Chanel lip gloss in, oh goodness, I don't know how to pronounce these, so I'm going to just say 73, <laughs> um, if you can see this, if it'll focus, come on. Um, so usually I would just pair this on top of the creme brulee or I would just wear it by itself. It's like a nice um, light pink with shimmer in it. It's it's kind of pearly, kind of iridescent. Um, and my natural lip color is not dark, but kind of dark. So when I put this on top of it, it looks like a deep pink lipstick or something with this on top of it. So it looks really nice. Um, I don't know. I really like it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this was kind of all over the place, some new, some old things for favorites, but I thought I'd go ahead and make it, um, just to kind of stay on track with favorites, and I can see what I liked and what I didn't like, um, what I really, um, specifically liked for each month. So, if you've done a February favorites video, please leave it as a video response below, or if you just want to tell me what your February favorites were, you can put them in the comments below, and yeah, hopefully I will see you guys soon. Bye!